Hi, this is Kyle Cordova here, teaching you today on Sunday School, Episode 3. We will be having guest instructor Master J present for today's lesson. We will be going over the gainer switch, full snap and swipe, and hyper aerial taught by Master J. Let's get started. Gainer switch. In order to do gainer switch, you want to make sure you have gainer. Obviously. As long as you have a good, fast gainer, you'll be able to gainer switch. This is how you do it. First off, pick your favorite setup. Like always, I'm gonna just pivot. Woo! Gainer switch. If I was gonna do pivot gainer and pivot gainer switch, I'm gonna go into it the exact same way. Exactly the same. But just a little more power. I'm gonna do my pivot step. Woo! My arms come back, okay? My leg is cocked up. I'm in the eagle. Woof! Ready to swing. I'm gonna swing up with my arms and my legs. Boom! At the same time. As this is happening, my hips are going up and my head is going back. Gainer switches are like whip backs. You don't wanna try to go high, high, high. It's, it's not gonna work. You wanna go boom, 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 boom at like a steady height. If you jump too much, the pressure on your leg is gonna make you tired really quick. Okay, but if you can catch that momentum at that right height, you'll be able to keep going a lot easier. So, I swing up. Woo! My leg is going up. My shoulders and head are going back. When I take off from my pivot, I pivot. I should be going backwards. Don't try to gain or switch going forward. I see people try to go like this. And I literally go forward and gain or switch. You're not gonna be able to keep going. I mean, you might be able to, but you probably have some strong legs. So, you wanna go back. Think of these as whip backs. You're gonna turn, boom, you're gonna cock back, swing, head drops back, hips come up at the same time. Boom. You can't have your whole body go down because you're gonna hit the ground. Your head and your shoulders are gonna go down while your hips go up. They're gonna switch, whoop, in place. Now, in order to get the switch, you swing your leg up, boom. Let's say this whole circle is 100%, okay? From here to here is 100%. I'm gonna swing my right leg to just about, I'm gonna try to get it almost to 50, okay? It's probably gonna be more around like 40% is where it's, where it's gonna stop at. You're gonna try to pull it up as much as much as you can. You wanna try to get it to the top, and then you want your switch to happen between the 40% mark and the 60% mark, okay? Your switch should be happening in this area. If it's here, it's way too late. If it's here, you probably did it way too early. This is your ideal switching range. You could hit the middle, you're right on the money. So I kick my leg up, boom. I'm throwing my head and shoulders back, my hips are coming up. My foot gets to about 40, 40%-ish. 40 From here, my left leg is gonna switch. Wham! In order to make your switch happen, don't pull this leg back, okay? You're just counter, you're being counterproductive. You pull this leg back. You pull this leg up. From there, you switch your focus to this leg and you power this leg through, but you do nothing with this leg, okay? Nothing. This leg comes up, boom, 100% focus, 100% focus, 100% focus, switch. Boom, now it's all this leg. Your trailing leg will just float behind you. It has no other option. Okay, that's the only thing that's gonna happen. Your right leg swings up, boom. You get to the 40, boom, you yank this one through. This one has to follow, whoop, to swing again. I'll demonstrate gainer switch. And that's how you do gainer switch. Make sure you're kicking your leg up, boom, to in between somewhere the 40 and the 60% of our whole circle. Get it up to here. From there, it's all your other leg. Boom, all your focus, pop, into that other leg, and let your trail leg come behind. If you wanna continue into another gainer switch, just pull your arms back and try to get to the same position that you took off from. Boom, you wanna land back, here. So you gotta let your leg trail, you gotta pull those arms back. Well, that's how you do gainer switch. 
On to move number two, full snap of swipe from car wheel. In order to do full snap of swipe from car wheel, you want to make sure you can do full swipe, full D-leg nice with your hips up, and you want to be able to do full swipe and turn out just a little bit. If you can full swipe and do like a, almost a half, you're about ready for this move. A lot of people are gonna say you need double full. You don't need double full because I have a terrible double full, but I have a pretty good full snap -a swipe. This is how you do full snap -a. You're gonna launch the same way you would into a full D-leg or full swipe. More 540 though, not swipe over the top, more 540 around. So I'm gonna go cartwheel. Oh. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna pull my chest up, just like in full double leg. Whoa! This time, instead of pulling my double leg around, like in Sunday School Episode 1, for full snafu, you're gonna pull your kicking leg around, and you're gonna move your non-kicking leg out of the way. This is what I mean. A lot of people go to do full snafu, so let's say I was going this way, car wheel. A lot of people go to do full snafu, boom and they'll pull their knee in with this leg like this. But look it, you're blocking your kick. So, when you're pulling your leg around, you don't want your knee to block your leg. You want to be able to kick through. You don't want it to be like this. You want your hips to be able to turn over. And in order to do that, you have to move this knee out of the way. This is how you're gonna do that. You're gonna jump, boom, cargo full, you launch, you pulled your chest up, you're pulling your 540 across, but instead of pulling your knee up, you're gonna pull your heel to your butt. Okay, you're gonna pull your heel back, and you're gonna pull this leg up, okay? It's gonna create this position right here. Boom, instead of here, okay? If it's like this, you're not gonna be able to rotate over your hip. If your knee is out of the way, your heel's pulled back, you're gonna be able to kick through, and rotate around. Let's apply that. We go cartwheel, boom. Now you're jumping, you're pulling your chest up, you're thinking 540, not swipe. You're not going like this, okay? You're just standing up and doing a big 540, boom. But this time, instead of pulling your knee in, you're pulling your heel back. And once your leg wraps through, you're gonna squeeze your body together, boom, and it's gonna spin you, okay? Once you kick and you pass to here, and then you straighten your body back out, you're gonna spin. You have to spin. Like it, it's mandatory. Your body's gonna make you spin. You're gonna kick up, full, full. You kick through. Once this happens, once you make this cross, your body's twisted. You're like this. Now you straighten your body out and you squeeze. Roll. Look it, you're gonna roll. You're gonna keep rolling. Now, to land the move. You kick up, boom. Your heel is out of the way, your knee's out of the way, your leg is up, you wrap through. Boom, you squeeze tight, you look over your shoulder. You'll be able to see the ground over your shoulder. You're gonna look, you're gonna see the ground, then you're gonna put your feet down. And that's how you land. <laughs> Landing is really, it's, it's really that simple on full snap and swipe. You really just have to jump and commit to the first 80% of the move, and you got it. If you can if you can commit all the way up to the kick through, you're gonna make it almost every single time. You just have to launch, chest up, you go to kick, this heel pulls back, not, not knee up, heel back, whoop, and then wrap into it. Whoop. Into your landing, stomp, you landed it. Yo, my apologies, my heel is bruised. I can't really do this move right now on the ground. I'm trying to save my heel for true movement this weekend. And if I smack it, then it's all bad. But I have clips to show you. Check it out. That was full snap a swipe. Make sure you jump, pull your chest up, think about it like a big 540 with your heel going back, not knee up, heel back, kick, wrap through, tighten your body, squeeze, look over your shoulder, feet down for your landing. That's full snap and swipe. Move number three with guest instructor Master J, 
hyper aerial. All right, uh, basically what you would want for prerequisites are aerial, and if you can, a high and fast butterfly kick. Also, if you can, a brandy, because it would help you to learn how to use your hips when you're using aerials. First off, you can use a couple different ways to go into the trick. You can run if you want. You can do a spin setup if you want. That's what I'm gonna be using. You can go from a standstill if you want. Personally, I'm gonna use the spin setup just so you can have a little bit of momentum. When you go for the hyper aerial, all right, make sure that you jump, all right? Your first leading leg, which is my right, it could be your left, will act as if it's jumping up. That's all you wanna think about when you're trying with your first leg, your jumping leg, all right? You wanna think as if you're going up. You don't wanna go forward. You wanna lift up your lifting leg straight up if you can. That's gonna lift you up more into the air and complete your flip for you once you're at the halfway mark. For your arm, all right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna yank. With this jumping up and this yanking up, it's gonna help you to lift up. And that's what you want. You want time to lift up so that you can flip your hips in the air, which I'm gonna explain next, all right? Boom, you go for the move, you jump, boom, right? In the middle of the trick, what makes it important is to be able to, once you lift up this leg or your lifting leg, to bend it if you can, and try to actually push what was your jumping leg inward if you can. It'll help you flip over, all right? The best way to kind of get used to this is the brandy, just because it'll help you to move your flip. Especially like a sideways brandy. Like if you have a tricking aerial that's side to side, to side this way, versus coming from a gymnastics aerial, which is this way, then in that case, you'd wanna try to work on the tricking aerial with the brandy having your legs together, all right? Try to go into it with a cartwheel, and just work on trying to land on two feet, like this. If you can do that, you'll notice that you have to move your hips in order to land down on two feet versus one at a time. Slowly you'll get from one to two, and once you're able to work at two, then you wanna work at the one for the hyper aerial. Here, I'll demonstrate. To actually be able to switch your legs in the air so that you land in the hyper aerial, what you wanna do is when your first li uh, lifting leg comes into the air, you wanna try to bend it and bring it in if you can. When you're flipping, you wanna actually lift up this leg straight and then it's gonna bend. And then once you bend that, this is gonna come like this. Basically, that's the essential thing you wanna do. You wanna lift up your lifting leg and once you're in the air, you're gonna bend it and then the jumping leg is gonna try to bring itself as close as it can to the knee that is now bent, your lifting leg. So then it's gonna come like this in the middle of the flip. It's gonna basically come like, you lift up, you bend, and then your right leg is gonna pull into the left one. If you're doing it from cartwheel, just so that you can get used to your hips, just start first with a fast cartwheel. You keep working at the fast cartwheel until you can try to just land on two feet, all right? Once you keep landing on two feet and you're used to that, then you can go for that method. Remember, when you lift up the leg, that when you're trying to go for a hyper aerial, once you're in the air, then you wanna bend in the lifting leg and try to drive the jumping leg into the lifting leg. Here's it from cartwheel. Just keep working at that until you're used to landing on your right or for other people, the left way. When you try to go for a hyper aerial for the landing, you should expect a little bit of a bend. Remember, this move is a really forceful move, especially on landing on one leg and trying to flip all the way over really fast. So you wanna to try to be able to bend it just a little bit so you can take in some of the impact. All right, and that's basically hyper aerial. So for a quick review, just remember that when you're going for the trick, to jump up, lift up, and then when you're in the middle of the flip, bend your lifting leg and try to drive your jumping leg to the lifting leg. When you try to land, make sure that you already remember that there's a little bit of impact, so you're gonna take a little bit of a knee real quick, all right? You don't wanna straighten out your legs, all right? That's no good. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy. That was Sun. oh, what are we on, three? That was episode three, Sunday School. We reviewed gainer switch, full snap a swipe, and hyper arrow with guest instructor, Master J. I hope you guys learned a lot. Stay tuned for episode four, and make sure you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash hellokylewayne. 
keep tricking. Peace. Woo.